Um, all right, well, welcome to Becoming a National Wholesaler today. Uh, today is September 5th, 2013. My name is Pete Asmus, and my special guest tonight is Ivan Oberon. How are you doing, Ivan? I'm doing pretty well, man. Just dealing with the heat. <laughs> it is. It's hot here. Um, I don't know where everybody else is from. Are you guys, anybody here from California? It is like we're going through some crazy heat wave right now. Um, but, you know, what I really wanted to kind of focus on with tonight's call and what we're doing is I wanted to talk about becoming a bird dog. Because a lot of times we talk about becoming a wholesaler and, and sometimes that's a step ahead. People aren't ready for that yet. What they're really looking for is, look, I don't have any, I don't have any knowledge, I don't have any money, I don't have, I don't have any idea of what real estate really is, but I want to get involved. Do you ever hear that, Ivan? Yeah, sure. Absolutely. So, now, if you don't have the money to to get involved and pay for a program to learn, one of the things that we've set up at at Coast to Coast is the ability to um to uh to see us or to work with us on the, um, on bird dogging. And, uh, and so what I wanted to bring Ivan on for is because Ivan kind of heads up that department. He's, he does a lot of the, the wholesaling for us. He does a lot of the, the different aspects of writing the contracts and things. So I thought, you know, who better to bring on and talk about, look, if, if you just want to get started right now, what is it going to take? What do you need to do? I think Ivan's the perfect person to say, hey, look, what are you looking for in a bird dog? You know what I mean? I gotcha. So so tell me, what are you looking for in a bird dog? Well, and, and let me kind of define what we're what I'm looking for as far as bird dogging is concerned, because we want to get people, like you said, a, a way to get into things for free. We always want to provide value and before we ask for value, right? We always you always gotta give in order to, in order to get. And as long as you can create win-win situations, and then it works out well for everybody. So we, we were doing the thing with the bandit signs and getting wholesale deals, and, and we realized that even that strategy, there's there's some costs involved. You gotta buy the signs. You gotta go. You gotta go to Home Depot. You gotta you gotta go put them up on Fridays and take them down on Sunday. So it's, so it's a little it's a little uh, more involved, and there and there is some costs involved as well. So we, we partnered up uh, with with uh, Vincent on on certain things, and we came up with this, uh, or found out about this new strategy because he's all about virtual real estate investing, and so uh, there's no cost to that at all in order to just generate leads, and because that's what you need in order to do anything, you first need that that lead. You need somebody that's that's motivated to sell a house or wants to sell a house, and what better way to to do that? And with a program that is absolutely free, you just have to invest your time. And then once you get those leads, well, what do you do then? Realizing that people still might not have the money to, to get into a coaching program, well, now that's where the bird dogging comes in. Because we can, we can help teach you how to get those leads, and then we'll help you with the closing of the leads. And well, now, we'll that's pretty cool. So you're saying if I'm, if I'm brand new and I, I have no clue what I'm doing – then what, what you're going to do is you're going to basically bring me in and go, okay, this is what you need to do, do this, and then you're going to walk them through different aspects as they, they get leads. Now, does that mean that every lead that returns their call, is that going to be a deal? No, no, certainly not. Just like, just like everything else, it's a numbers game. But how, well, how many? I mean, if I, if I send, if I put out, you know, 20, 30, 40 emails a day, is that, is that going to be like how how soon am I going to get a, a deal? How soon will I get a contract? It, it also it depends on everything. It, it, you just you have to be committed to do the work. You know that's 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 one thing that people need to understand is that there is no magic pill in in real estate. There may be techniques that are that are maybe less uh, intensive than others, maybe less risky than others, and so forth. But if you don't commit to doing the process and going through it on a regular basis consistently. And it doesn't matter what you're doing. So it, it, this is an example. Uh, you know, it, one day I made I made uh, eight calls and I got three, three contracts. The next day I made 15 calls and I got nothing. So it, it, it could be it could be that you're doing 30 a day, 40 a day. Maybe you're doing less. The thing is just to, just to do it and and don't don't just do it for a couple a couple of emails a day. Um, but there's no answer to that. People need to understand that 
it's going to be work, and there's going to be sacrifices needed as far as investment of time. Well, what else? I mean, so if I'm not getting the results that I I desire, right? We had we had one individual that that wrote into us, and they weren't getting the results that they that they desired. And my my response back to that was, you've got two options. You can either increase the number of emails that you put out, or you can change the location of where you're putting them out, right? Sure. Or you can decide that you know what this isn't for me, and do nothing. Well, yeah, yeah. but that option is. Sucks. I say it tongue in cheek, bro. But but again, people need to understand that there's a commitment that needs to be needs to be in, involved here. I'm I'm committed to to going through the leads, and in many many cases there, that's very time consuming for me as well. And we're providing this service absolutely for free to to help people uh, get their foot in the door and get them get them learning and, and get them making some money. And now, do we benefit from it? Of course. Of course. All right. I just want to make sure that, that, that we're not totally making it out like that, that we're not getting anything from it. Obviously, the no. cool part for us is that we're getting a lot of, of looks at, at deals. Now, does that mean that you want every possible deal that could be a deal thrown at you or do you want some kind of legwork done? Well, of course, there has to be legwork. There. Okay. I'll give an example. You know, uh, I was working Here, with a person. Do you want to take over and, and, and show your, your computer screen? Uh, well, not that kind of example yet. Okay, uh, got it. It's, it's more of a, of a scenario example. You know, okay. One, one person knows bird dogging for me, and uh, the, the the process is very is very simple. You know, mainly you're generating leads on Craigslist, and so instead of him going through the process and, and sending out the scripts and, and everything else, because the scripts are already there for you, so it's super simple. Um, and we'll go into the, the criteria of, of what needs to, needs to be looked at and what needs to be avoided and so forth. Uh, but he was he was sending me emails like, "Oh, what do you think about this one?" And I look at the email <laughs> and and it had you know it, it was a forward of a Craigslist ad. Right. And I look, look at it and, and I'm just like, "Okay, so where's the response from the seller? Where is the positive feedback saying yes, I'm interested in hearing more, or yes, I'm I'm you know I'm open to the idea, or or something, some positive." So that it's a, so that it's basically a warm transfer, a warm referral. <laughs> Instead of no, I'm not interested. Hey, do you think you can do something with this? Yeah. Well, no, he didn't even send an email, so they didn't even say <laughs> yes or no. It was just like, hey, what about this one? What do you? Th I don't know what I think about it. It's it's a this <laughs> Are okay. They interested? Are they interested? Do some legwork, and and the better you get at doing the legwork, the better chances that we'll have to close it on our end when you when you do send it over so there so there's less time wasted for everybody and you're going to get email responses that say no you're going to get email responses that say maybe but and you're going to get and then you're not going to get responses at all on some of the stuff that you send out and that's okay well now what if i do this for a week and i and i spend an hour a day for a week and i put out i mean seriously ivan i put for an hour a day i send out emails and after a week i haven't got any responses then what then it just does this just not work well, I can guarantee you that if you put in an hour a day for a week, you will get a response. I will. One, one form or another. That I can guarantee. You. Okay. So, how many emails do I need to put out to get a positive response? You tell me. Are you holding the crystal ball? <laughs> I'm not. You know what? I think. I, I think that's the question, though, that everybody always asks. They always want to know. Well, well, Ivan, how many do I need to do to get a to get a positive? How many do I need to do to get a contract? The answer is I don't know. I don't know how many you need to do. Just one more. Just well, you, you know the reality is is the moment you get the contract, you're gonna know how many it takes to get one. And I promise it won't take that many next time unless you you know. I I, I remember hearing. Um, I, I've heard a few people say that the worst thing that can happen to a brand new investor is to kill it and knock it out of the park for their first deal. And, and like for it to happen in, in like a month because they, they, they get this preconceived notion that like, that's how it happens. And yeah. it just doesn't happen like that. And so they need to understand that you get knocked down, you get knocked down. But the moment it takes, you know, if it takes you 400 emails to get one contract that, that ends up closing great next time, it shouldn't take well, 400. How much, did, how much did that cost you? Well, nothing. No. It was free. Just time. Just time. So the reality is the more time I put in, 
the more I'm going to get back, right? If it's just about time, it's not costing me anything. I just need to, what that says is I need to put in more time. And then I need to spend my time effectively. If I'm putting out 50, 100 emails and I live in, let's say, Temecula, right? And I'm putting them all out in Temecula and I'm not getting anybody to bite in Temecula or in Phoenix or in Seattle or in Boston or in Miami or wherever it is that you guys are from, then start moving around. This is, this like Vincent says, this is virtual. You guys are doing this off of a computer and an internet thing. I am sitting in my car in Newport Beach right outside. Well, the beach is like, honestly, I could throw something. I could throw my computer and hit the sand. But I'm sitting in my car doing this virtually. Are you kidding me? Like, how can you not send out Craigslist things virtually, right? I mean, it's it's you. it doesn't matter where you are. You know, a lot of people get stuck with, well, I, I you know, I want to get on my market or do it in my market. Well, the reality is that with technology, I mean, the whole U.S. is your market. That's right. You want to stick. You want to stick to metro areas, so that you have a higher. What does population. that mean? What do you mean by that? Yeah, let, define that. What what you what you're referring to? So you have a higher population density. You're going to have a little bit better income earners in those in those areas. You're going to have more um, people living in those areas. So the, so the opportunities are greater. All right. What kind of what kind of Probably. houses are you targeting? Like the price points. What what kind of price points are you looking for? Well. In reality, you want to you want to focus on on the middle to high end, so you know above above three hundred thousand all the way up to a few million dollars. Can you explain why? Well, we're looking for people who, and, and let me let me backtrack just a little bit here. The, the strategy that we're bird dogging for here is is essentially for an owner owner financing. We want people that want to sell their homes by way of owner, owner financing deal. Uh, the reason for that is there's a lot of people that, that would like to sell their home, but either they can't afford to do it right now because they don't want to pay a realtor, they're not getting the price they want because they're competing against short sales and foreclosures. Uh, it's, it's sat on, on the MLS for, for months and months because you, you, they may have had offers, but the people just can't get, can't get qualified based on, on today's lending guidelines and maybe they have a little little bit of history on their credit that, that's preventing them from qualifying. Whatever the case might be, owner financing is, is a very viable strategy right now uh, when you can get people on board with it. And you create a situation that's a win for the seller, that's a win for the buyer, and that's a win for us by that's a win win win. So that's that's why it's a it's a viable strategy that we're pursuing. Uh, but but it's still a lot of work. Um, but to answer your question, the the reason we're targeting those people is because you find a higher quality buyer in those price ranges. When you're in the you know, 150, 200, 250 thousand dollar mark, you run into a lot of uh, you know, career renter type of type of people, which we don't want. We want people that are going to have you know, good pride of ownership and and be able to qualify and afford the, the home that they're wanting to purchase under under this strategy. Got it. You know, and, and I think it's important. I think a lot of times people think, well, there's not really anybody in that situation. And and that's just not true. There is a ton of people in the situation that cannot qualify for a, a rental and they could qualify for a loan in our program that you're referring to, you know, when they could put down 10 grand or 20 grand on a property, but they may they, they may not be able to qualify for a loan because they have a brand new job. Or because yeah, need, they had yeah, this happen, or or whatever. A new mortgage, not a rental. Right? What's that? You meant a new mortgage, not a rental. They, they can't they can't qualify for for a new mortgage. Right. Well, also they can't qualify for rentals. I don't know if you understand that, but that's absolutely the case. There are people that cannot get rentals right now. They cannot rent. They cannot go and get a rent. They they've got five grand, ten grand to put down. And they want to rent, but they can't rent because they don't qualify to rent. Yeah, their credit is, is messed up. Credit is messed up, or they, they even if they have good credit, sometimes they don't have a job, they haven't been on the job long enough. Or they're self um they're self-employed. So they don't have any kind of, of of verification. I'm telling you right now, I know of two people that have good credit that are trying to to that, that were trying to rent and couldn't rent right now. And that's why they're coming to us now to to find them a um, well, one of yeah, these properties. You gotta, you gotta understand that we don't look at credit as the determining factor because credit 
is just a it, it's just a game, and obviously you have to know how to play the game, but it's not a it's not a guarantee of future performance. So that's that's not our main qualifying factor when we're finding these buyers, because that's that's finding the seller and finding the lead is only part of the equation. Okay, then you have to find the, then you have to find the right buyer to bring right. the transaction, and they have to be qualified and they have to do the in, income verification, and they have to have the money to to actually purchase the home. So. Um, the, the, the fact of the matter is that you're right. Probably 80 to 90 percent of the U.S. population can't qualify for a conventional type of mortgage. And under, under these deals, we're actually working to get them qualified for a rate and term refi, which is also easier to qualify for than, than a straight out mortgage. Well, and, you know, the other thing that, that you're working on putting together is working with AAPL to work on loans that – That'll allow um, some of our investors to be able to to buy these properties to um, rent them. You're working with things that you know these end users that when they're doing these um, the contract for deed or whatever you want to call it, that when they do that rate and refi, that we're able to put them in and plug them into a program, and and if we work it right, we could p potentially get a piece of that action too. And I think yeah. you know the 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 key for you guys to understand is. Look, when we bring you in and you start working with us, it's all about opportunities. You're not going to just see one opportunity with us. We're going to we want to bring in partners that are going to grow with us. We don't want you to just bird dog forever. That's that's crazy. That's not what we want. We want them to grow with us and hopefully take over something and run a project or be involved with us and 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 take opportunities because the larger our network is, the more opportunities we will all have. You know what I mean? Yeah. Part of the process that you go through is is learning, and you have to you have to put in put in the time to learn as you go. Now, guys, I know that we've got about uh, 15, 15, 16 of you on here right now, and I've got a ton more that are listening to this podcast later on, which is awesome. And and I, I want to tell you guys, thank you for listening, and I hope that this is helping you guys. Is there anything right now before we continue? Is there anything that you guys have questions on of? Um, you know, how does this work or how does that work? Make sure you guys ask those questions as we're talking. I'm checking them as uh, Ivan is, is talking so that we can go ahead and incorporate your questions if you have them as we're talking. All right. So yeah, going back to go ahead. Just know, I, I don't think I can see people typing for whatever reason on my end. So if somebody asks a question, just let me know. I will absolutely do that. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for them. So. Um, getting back to then what we were talking about right now, what, if, if I contacted you out on the street right now and I saw you and I said, Hey, look, I want to be involved. What would the first step you would tell me to do be? What, what's the first thing that we should do? Well, I would probably tell you to go to c 2 com forward slash step one. Okay. Let me just put that in right now and then put another forward slash on that. Is that what you mean? <laughs> I'm sure you do. Yes, I'm sure. I, I'm sure I did. All right, and that's going to take me to right here. And then what am I going to do here? You put your name and your email address there. All right. That'll do, that'll do a couple of things for you guys. One, it'll it'll send you the the the, the seller script, uh, which will be what you what you email out to sellers on Craigslist, and then it'll also push you through to this forum, Woo! which there'll be a lot of FAQs and and there will be uh, uh, access uh, again to that to that uh, script, both for uh, for the emails and for the texts. Now there's the files the the files tab that we always tell everybody to. Look at this. You got objections here. You got some links to phone calls. All kinds of stuff here. A lot of good information there that'll help you in in your learning process. Oh, and look at that. The ten minute task right there. Yep. And then all I got to do is what click on that link and it takes me right to vincent polisi's 10 minute task and all i got to do is is uh copy this stuff right yep just copy just copy paste put your name your phone number if, if you're if you're worried about getting phone calls uh because you don't you're not gonna know what to say to people there's there's two things you can do one you can just not include a phone number or two you can include a Google voice number. That way, if people call you and it goes to voicemail, it'll record the voicemail. And then when you forward that particular lead, 
you can include the voicemail in that email. That way I know what's going on, what the communication has been, and whether or not that prospect is open. When you're prospecting, when you, when you go into, and the, and the 10 minute task explains this, but I'll just, I'll just kind of tell you guys right now, that when you go into Craigslist, and you go into properties and rental listings, you're gonna start off with the rental listings. And you're gonna start off with properties. Why is that? Why, why am I starting, I, there, we're trying to sell these properties, man. Why are you sending me to a, a rental site? That doesn't make well, sense. The fact of the matter is that a lot of people that have their properties listed for rent, have them for rent because they couldn't sell it. And then they just, they just get, get exasperated and be like, fine, you know, if I can't sell it, then I'll just, I'll just try to cash flow it for a while until, until the market gets better or until whatever they think. That makes you know, sense. Like, they're also used to taking payments, right? Yeah, they're used to taking payments. There we and go. It's, and it's good for objection handling too, because if they're, if they're open to being a landlord, and all the risk associated with being a landlord and the, the phone calls that this is broken or that needs a repair or, or whatever it is, then it, it's easier for us to show them the value in what we're doing uh, and by bringing them somebody who's essentially going to be buying the property from day one and working to qualify to cash them out. And they're going to take over the payments. They're going to take over the maintenance. They're going to take over the repairs. They're going to take over the property taxes. They're essentially becoming a homeowner, and they're getting the benefit from a tax perspective of being that homeowner. And in turn, the seller gets all their expenses covered. They have they have uh, uh, basically a sales contract in place that the the, the buyers are working towards uh, finalizing within within a 24 month period of time. And uh, they have somebody who, who's going to have more pride of ownership over over a tenant, you know, because a lot of times tenants just don't have that that, uh, that pride of ownership. Well, yeah, because they they don't own it. I mean, if they don't own it, they're not going to have. They don't care what happens to it. I mean, that's the reality. Right. So you can filter through the listings and and not look for anything that's that's say below eighteen hundred dollars a month in rent, or you might even find you know. Listings that have uh, that have a for sale sign on them as well by owner uh, that are going to be you know more than depending on depending on the state you're you're in you know three hundred fifty thousand dollars can be a pretty nice house in certain areas whereas in places like California that doesn't get you very much you know so so you got to keep that into consideration when when you're looking in different places you know California you might you might look for you know above four hundred thousand. In, in other places, uh, like maybe Texas or something, you you, you could look you know, above three hundred thousand uh, and above. When you're looking through those listings too, you want to make sure that you filter out to the best of your ability any any listings that are uh, put up by a broker or a realtor or a property manager. Wait, why? Anything. Why? Why would why would you do that? That does you're saying to go and find them. Now you're telling me to filter them out. Yes. Why? Gotta, the, the decision makers are the owners. Okay. When you when you have a contract in place, you have to have a contract in place with the owner. Okay, but the, time, what? The what of the time, won't they tell them? Ninety-nine percent of the time, <laughs> uh, realtors, brokers, listing agents, all those, all those people uh, are, are just deal killers because they don't want to tell you who the who the owner is. A lot of times, if not all, most of the time, they won't put the address on there, so you can't even. And, and they do this for a reason. That way, you can't search the property by address, find the listing, go to the tax records, find out who actually owns the property, find that person's contact information, circumvent the, the listing agent, and go directly to the owner, and and say, hey, this is this is the deal that we can bring you. And in most cases, the the realtors just aren't willing. To, to, to work because they can't see the benefit even though even though we can tell them that they, they'll still get something for, for bringing the deal together their, their greed gets gets in the way and they, and they don't want to do it so it's, it's better to not waste your time even though you know it has happened in the past um, and, and mainly because people go and post these things illegally their, their listing agents or brokers, and then they don't put their, their broker number on the bottom of the listing, which they're not supposed to do. They're supposed to disclose in those listings that they're, that they're a broker.
but many times people don't do that because they know also they found out that a lot of people avoid calling a listing agent just because it's it can be a, it can be a pain sometimes. So you want to avoid uh, at all if at all possible sending sending emails to to uh, any property that's that's listed with a with a listing agent or broker uh, and focus on the ones that at least appear to be listed by an owner. And it's very easy at the top of the page. You just you just hit reply right through Craigslist, and then you and then you basically uh, copy paste your your script on there. And you hit send. And the beauty about that is that it captures all the information on the ad. And when they reply to you, you can you can scroll down and you, you forward the email, or you can scroll down and look. And so it tags the link for the original listing there. So then I can look at, it. I can click on it, I can look at the listing, I can see what it is, I can I can read the description and have an understanding of what we're looking at. That's awesome. Now, guys, everybody that's listening right now, I mean, does this sound interesting to you? Are you guys are you guys excited about um, getting involved in in this process? Because if they want if they want to do this, how now we've gone ahead and and they've they've pushed through right to the site and they've they started to get things and now they have a deal. What do they do now, Ivan? I mean, and I'm going to talk about the goal completion program in a second, but before tell them tell them what they're going to do. Yeah, so once you go through the through the process, you enter your information, you push through, you get your scripts, you you, you start kind of somewhat understanding what it is. The the next step is to take action, okay, and, and not be afraid of the results. Not be afraid of well, I don't know what's going to happen. Not be afraid of well, do I start in San Diego or do I start in Seattle or do I start blah blah blah? Just start. And as, as you have leads come in and you get positive responses and they, and they look viable to you and you, 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 know, you didn't field the phone call, whatever it is, it's just an email that looks viable, then you can just forward that email to mydeal at c2crea.com and that, that'll forward directly into, into my, that specific email that I check every day um, and, 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 I'll start, and I start calling your, your listings. And then I'll, as soon as I make a call, I do my very best to keep you guys apprised. So if I make a phone call and I and I, I get a voicemail, I'll respond. Left voicemail for so and so. If I get a, if I get in contact with them and I get feedback, I'll respond. You know this happened, or this happened. So I do my best to to make sure that that happens, which is why it's important that you forward the complete email to me so that I can reply and and it keeps all the information. In, in a cohesive place so that we know exactly what's going on and understand that this isn't all I do okay and you're not the only one sending me emails so it's it's very possible and likely that you will not hear from me that very same day that you send me those leads it may be a day or two okay, depending on where your leads come in because because I do my best to to handle the leads in the order that they come in and if I have 20 leads in front of you, then just understand that it's, it's a process. I mean, sometimes those phone calls can take 45 minutes. Sometimes they take five minutes. Sometimes they take two hours. So, so there's, only, there's only enough hours in the day uh, to do that. But, but I assure you, I will, get, I will get to all of them and, and give you feedback. Now, um, Mark, you've asked a couple times, can we repeat the website, c2crea.com? I don't know if that's what you mean. I have it up on the screen here, c2crea.com. That is our website. Um, if that's if, if that's what you mean, then I, I hopefully I've answered it. If you mean something different, please please re-ask that. Again, uh, guys, what's that? c2crea.com forward slash step one forward slash is probably what he meant uh, since that's what we've been talking about. Okay. Well, then then there you go. And he said, yes, thanks. But I think he was referring to me, not you, because I don't think people like you. But that's okay. Um, with with that, uh, w what other questions, guys, that of you that are on right now, what questions do you guys have about wholesaling, about bird dogging, about anything? Um, what is it that you guys are having issues with right now or roadblocks? And let's, let's kind of voice some of those opinions. Because I know a lot of times I'll end up saying, all right, we're going to be done because this is usually a you know 20 to 30 minute call. And I'll say, all right, we're going to be done. And then I ask if there's any questions. And then all of a sudden I have 15 of them coming in after I've already canceled the, the recording. So 
I want to make sure if you guys do have any questions that we go ahead and, and get those onto the call as we're, as we're moving through it. Um, I have a goal program that we put up here. Uh, we designed this to help you guys move through what you guys are doing. The reality is a lot of times we find challenges with, with following through with goals because we lose focus. And we lose focus because it's not at the in the forefront of our, our head or in our brain. And like Ivan says, and, and like I say, and you know, life catches back up, right? We get, we get back into Monday starts again, you know, Friday, we got all excited about what we were going to do. Right. And we got all jacked up. And then Monday, all of a sudden we went back to work and, and it's like our old life just seeps right back in. And we've got to find a way to break that, to break that cycle. And so what we designed was the two week goal program. And if you guys go to c2creia.com forward slash goals, G-O-A-L-S forward slash, it'll push you through um, to our goal program. And all you do is enter your name, your email, and then what your goal is, all right? And make sure it's a two-week goal, right? Don't, don't, don't say you want to make $5 million if you don't have the ability to make $5 million in two weeks. Say that, you know, hey, look, I want to take the next step. If, if you guys are getting into the bird dogging program, your first thing should be, look, in two weeks, I want to have a, a seller that said yes to a contract, that said yes to, to getting me into a contract. So I've got 14 days to get to a seller. Now, how many people do I need to talk to? I don't know. I, I have no idea. Ivan has no idea how many people you guys have to email to get a contract um, or to get a property under contract, which means if I were you, I would do as many as possible every day. Now, you're going to have to be focused to do that. You're going to have to stay positive. Ivan and I will both tell you that, man, you will get kicked in the teeth over and over and over again by yourself, by your friends, by your coworkers, by your family. Somebody is always going to be trying to take your legs out from under you, which means that you have to have a few things. You have to have a really good support system because if you don't, you're going to drop off. So we've tried to, to be there for you. You've got Ivan. You've got myself. You can jump on and you can listen to any of our past podcasts, Journey to Success. Ivan's got Flip It or Hold It. We've got other Becoming a, a National Wholesaler. There's all kinds of different um, podcasts that we have that you guys can download. We have a um, YouTube channel where you can go to Pete Asmus and you can, you can see our, or subscribe. And we have daily videos that are put out to keep you positively motivated. And then this goal program, when you do this every day, you will get an email from me that says how to something different to work towards your goals so that you guys are all the time you're staying focused on them because the reality is we want you to succeed we we're we're talking to other people i mean ivan and i were just on a phone call with with somebody that that's looking at doing some trainings with us and they want to they want to work with us and 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 we're trying to explain to them look our business model is different their words were well we want to work with you but man you guys are are really unorthodox and it's like, yeah, because we're focused on success and whatever it takes to get there. All the other BS doesn't matter to me. I don't care about it. I'm not an education center. I'm not an, ed I, I'm not based off of just providing education. I'm based off of providing results, creating results. Well, the way that you get results is by doing things, by getting out there and making something happen, not by sitting around bitching about things and not by complaining, but by actually getting out and doing something. It doesn't matter if everything isn't going your way. Hey, big deal. It doesn't, it doesn't, it just doesn't matter. If you focus on what isn't working, that's all that's going to happen is things aren't going to work. If you start focusing on what you do have and what is working, it's going to be amazing how your life changes. That's why we created the wristbands. That's why Ivan created my deal at c2crea.com. That's why we created this goal program. That's why we're doing everything that we can to create free resources for you. But here's the deal, man. Even though they're free, they're going to cost you. It's going to cost you your time. It's going to cost you your energy. And it is going to cost you your time. It, it just is. You've got to be stepping up. You know what I mean? What do you think, Ivan? What, what do you think about what yeah, I just said? And, and sometimes it's, it's like a catch-22, it seems like, because a lot of times you, you help people for free and, and you don't get the results. 
almost because it didn't, you know, sometimes there, there needs to be a little bit of pain to motivate people towards action. Um, so, so there's, like I said, it's kind of a catch 22 because you really do have to keep yourself more motivated knowing that, you know what, you know what, I, I didn't pay $5,000 for this, for this help. So maybe if I don't do something today, you know, it, it's not that big a deal. And people, and people drop off once they, once they see that it's hard. You know, when I paid, pay for my education and, and I continue to pay for more education, it's like, I have that in the back of my head that, man, I pay, I, I just paid $5,000 for this. Like I, I better get to doing something with it because I need, I at least need to get my money back. Right. And so, Absolutely. That, you know, that, that's just the, that's the thought that came into my mind. And, and, and the goal, that's one of the reasons that the goals program is, is so important is because it does keep you accountable. And, uh, I had sent you that link. Uh, uh it was a, a webinar with Grant Cardone. Oh my God, that was awesome. One thing that, that I found that was there's there was a couple of things that, that I found awesome in that in that thing. But one specifically was the fact that he says that he writes his goals down three times a day if needed. He writes his goals down every morning, he writes his goals down every night, and he writes his goals down every time he loses. So just to keep himself focused and understand that even even people who are you know the, the 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 Warren Buffetts and the Grant Card? Well, I don't want to put Grant Cardone in the same level as Warren Buffett, but I'm I'm saying <laughs> right, it's a little different. They still, they still lose from time to time, and they still need to find more more, more than time to time. Don't say that. Don't say time to time like it's like it doesn't happen very often. It does. I mean, here's the thing, guys. You are going to fail more than you succeed. You will. With anything that we do, even when we're going after flipping properties and stuff, we're not going to get every property we, we try and get. We're going to fail more than we succeed. We've so get to used to that. Exactly. Fail forward. You've got to fail into success. Into, into, um, success. And yeah, that's a possibility. I did a call today off of, uh, off of one of these leads that, uh, from one of my bird dogs. It was on a, on a $2.3 million property. And from the get-go... The lady was combative. She 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 didn't even let us get in a word edgewise. She was just saying she was telling us exactly what we were doing, and we we're just like, wait a minute, what do you, what do you mean? Nobody said anything about transferring this and that, and it was a scam, and it was too good to be true, and and you know I'm gonna call the state board and like all these crazy things, right? Sometimes you just get slapped in the face. People don't want to be helped in certain cases. They're not open to new things. You know, I'll do I'll do I'll do an inferior strategy because it's not it's it's not different because it it's comfortable something that's been done even though even though it might it might stink by comparison I know what it is and so it, I mean that conversation turned into a battle it was it was crazy and, well it, and, it goes back into it goes back into what's comfortable and and it's like when I talk about you know you can be in a good mood or you can be in a bad mood and sometimes people are more comfortable being in a bad mood. You know, they're more, they're depressed and, and they feel comfortable being depressed because they've been depressed for years. And so when they start feeling good, they get uncomfortable because it's like, wait a second, I'm not used to this feeling, you know? So the, the thing is guys, when we say get used to being, wow, I don't know what you're doing, Ivan, but if you could stop, that'd be fantastic. That, that, that was loud. Um, if, if you guys, if you guys can, can get past it and realize that, you know, I, I love this, Matt, Matt sent me, uh, this, this quote or sent us this quote and I love it. Muhammad Ali said, suffer now and live the rest of your life like a champion. And that's really what we mean. Suffer for the next year, go into it. And then for the rest of your life, be able to live like people dream. Now we have a few questions. So I want to get to these real quick before we, we continue on with our banter. Um, what's the best type of clothes to use doing, uh, during a wholesale? Now, I don't know what they specifically mean by that, Andre. I, I don't know if you mean, um, how to get the person to say yes is in is in what type of technique to close or if you mean what type of 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 transaction to do wholesaling like should you use um or or uh, should you use you know contract for deed or should you use land trust or should you use you know just doing a straight cash purchase or if you yeah. mean how to get it I, I don't i don't know but the the reality is the best type is whatever works for that transaction that's the truth and here's the thing the more tools you have in your tool belt, the more transactions you're going to close. And the only way you get tools is either by paying for them or through experience. You don't just magically get them. 
So if you if you don't have the ability to pay for the knowledge, right, to, to go to somebody else's class or whatever, that's why we want to provide this internship, this this bird dogging. I think that's what we should call it, Ivan, not a bird dog, but an internship, because that's more than that, that's that's really more what it's like. But, you know, is to come into this. And so I had somebody else say, um, what is uh, what if we decide to do the bird dog? Can this also cover virtual wholesales? Wait. So when so when we if someone decides to bird dog. Can this also cover virtual wholesales? I, I, I want to say yes, because I don't really understand the question. I'm assuming what you're asking me, Dan, is, is if you want to do this bird dogging thing, can you do it if you live in, you know, Mississippi or Arkansas or, or Alaska or Russia or, you know, Yugoslavia? Yeah, you could live wherever you wanted in bird dog for us. You don't have to live by us. You also don't have to, to, if you mean, do I have to bird dog in my own area or could I do it anywhere? You could do it anywhere. So if you do live by us, but wanted to bird dog in Yugoslavia or, well, that wouldn't work, but let's say anywhere in the U.S. that we actually, you know, can contract on, um, Florida or whatever, then absolutely you could do that as well. Um, I hope that answered that question. And again, guys, keep asking questions. It's all good. <laughs> you can't type. That's I can't type either, Dan, so I'm with you. Uh, meaning doing deals in other states. Absolutely. We do them all over the place. Um, all 50 states. A absolutely. All 50 states. It doesn't matter where, where you're, we're talking, which is why I'm telling you guys, if where you're at isn't producing results, then, then move. Because let me tell you what we did. We took the lines out of the U.S. You know how you guys see the U.S., right? When you see our brand new logo, when we bust that out, and right now it's not a priority, but we, we kind of have it drawn up what we're going to do. But when you see it, you're going to see it's a map of the U.S. with all the states taken out because the reality is to Ivan and I, the U.S. is our backyard. The U.S. should be your backyard. The whole day and age of where you got to touch everything and feel it and hold it, man, that is gone. That is gone. It's time for you to start investing in real estate like you do in stocks, to do it smart, to do it based off of, off of numbers and to get help to start trading, to start doing paper trading. If you don't know, if you guys are brand new, we have a video game coming out um, that'll be on an online game that, that'll that be there. You know, we have the mobile version right now. You could actually go to c2crea.com forward slash, uh, I think it's games actually, games uh, forward slash. And you could see we have three different games, three different versions, but the mobile version right now, it's like a paper version of flipping. All right, the the, the board game, all of them. And it's designed to show you how to do a flip. What does it really take from what kind of contractors do you need to rehab the property, right? Once you rehab it, then what? You got to market it. Well, what about paying for it? They have hard money costs, all of it. So that when you do decide to get into flipping, when you do make that transition, it's not brand new. Because Ivan will tell you the way that he got into this was by knowledge. It wasn't because he had done it because he hadn't. Look, anytime any of us started getting into flipping, we didn't have the experience until we had the experience, which means how do you get into it? How do you break into it, right? That's that big catch-22. Well, Ivan, what did you do to break in? How did you get past the catch-22 of you've either got to have money or knowledge? Hello? Are you yes. gone? Oh, okay, that was weird. Well, yeah, you have to have time and time and knowledge. No, but remember what you say, what, how, when you got into the flipping, what did you do to go out and start generating money to flip? How did you get into to flipping a property? How did you flip your first property? Yeah, by, by, well, by adding value to other people, but I had, to, there you go. In order, in order to find money, I had to, I had to know what I was talking about first. Right. And how did you, you did that? You did that by doing what? By studying. By studying, by talking to people about it, by learning it so well that you could you could talk your way. I don't know why you're not saying this, but I'll go ahead and tell you what I want you to say. You 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 told you tell everybody this that you got into your you got into real estate investing by providing value. You learned the product, the system so well that you could tell everybody what should happen. You knew that the system, the the knowledge of the process so well that you could talk your way through it so that you got somebody that believed in you because you knew what would what what should happen i mean you knew it and because of that you were able to get somebody to fund a deal for you and then you you got into to doing flipping so that you could get the experience but before you had it you learned the information backwards and forwards so you could talk like you did have it yes okay are you even talking to me anymore or are you like completely doing your own thing now 
Okay. Um, What's going on? I'm just, I'm just letting you go. I know. I get excited. Dan, Chief, uh, here, Dan, here's another question. How do we get started into your bird dog program? Um, I want to make something happen now. That's awesome. Step one, go into – well, actually, that's it. Step one, c2crea.com forward slash step one forward slash. That will get you the TMT program um, to start doing. Then you want to go ahead and write down uh, my deals – at c2crea.com. That's where you're going to email Ivan. All right. My, my deal, I believe. Isn't it? Or my deal. Yeah, my deal. Well, you know what? If you forget that, just email him at Ivan at c2crea.com and say, hey, where's that email I'm supposed to send this to you? Because that's that's the email that my deal at c2crea.com is where all of the bird dog deals go. So don't send them the deals to, to Ivan at c2c. If you do, he's going to say, awesome. Um, I'm never going to look at this the way you want me to. You need to resend it to my deal at c2crea.com. But you can ask questions at Ivan if you need to. Um, the other thing is, guys, find us on YouTube and, and Facebook, all right, on Twitter. You can, you can catch us on all our social media platforms, and you can ask us questions. You can always ask us stuff on Facebook. We're not going to ignore you, all right? If it's a big, long um, answer, we may say, hey, you know, let's, let's leave that for a webinar when we can answer it and, and basically – you know, we like to leverage ourselves. So if you ask a really good question, we might want to leverage that question into an environment like this where we can teach more people at the same time so that more people get the benefit of the answer. Um, again, for us, it's all about, um, you know, like Ivan said, failing forward. It's all about giving back. It's all, it's all about giving back to move forward or moving forward by giving back. And, you know, I want you guys to realize that we are out here to help you, but you have to be out here to help you too. And if you are, there's something great because the way we're working our, our bird dog program is you guys get at least 15% of whatever we collect. And all you did was grab the deal. That's it. All you did was get the buyer to say, yeah, I'm interested, and then handed it over to Ivan. And you could get 15%. Now, 15% may not sound like a lot unless you're talking about a $1.4 million house where the down payment may be two to $300,000. Now, now, well, 15% doesn't seem so bad. So realize that we're looking for people that are looking to partner with us long term. We want to we want to build investors. We want to build partners to work with us. We're not looking at just we're not an education center that you're going to just drop us off at school, learn and then go away and we're never going to talk to you again. That's not what we're looking to build. We're looking at building an intern program where we work with you for the next 10, 15, 20 years. Why would we not want to build an empire with you? Why would we not want to teach you how to do what we need to have done so that you can work with us and we can partner on deals and we can both be making 20 grand a hit? Does that, I mean, that makes sense to you, right, Ivan? Makes sense to me. I mean, I know, I know it does because that's, that's our program. I mean, that's what we're doing. So I hope that this is getting you guys excited. I hope this is showing you the potential and the opportunity that you guys have laid out in front of you right now. This isn't some BS program. This isn't some, hey, this is going to be quote unquote free until you come in and then it isn't free. No, this is free. This is free. It does not cost you any money. We're not going to ask you for money in two days, in three days, in four days. We're not at, unless you're talking about the $3 for a wristband, but that's only if you want to buy a wristband. If you don't want a wristband, don't get a wristband. It's, <laughs> we're not asking you for money for any of that stuff. What we're trying to do is build wealth with you. But let me tell you, we've already done all the groundwork stuff. It's your turn to start doing that. So that's where you get to do your work. You get to do the groundwork. You get to start from the ground level and build yourself up just like Ivan did and just like I did. Because for us, it's all about creating a successful investor. That doesn't happen overnight. You don't get to just be Bing. And, you know, Ivan's a, a magic fairy and he, 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 you know, uses his wand and ding, and all of a sudden you're a great investor. That's going to come through time. That's going to come through experience. Now we're doing everything we can to curve that and, and to, and to basically ha let it happen in a shorter period of time, but, but make no bones about it. It is going to take time. It is going to be difficult. And when we say difficult, guys, realize that difficult doesn't mean it's going to be hard to put on your shoe. I mean, you're going to be pissed off thinking this is BS and why are you doing this in the first place? That's what I mean by difficult. Like Ivan wrote this one thing. Oh, man, it was awesome. We got to post that again. And it was something where you wrote about that 
You know, there are going to be times when you wonder, why in the hell am I doing this in the first place? And at that point, refer back to, <laughs> to step one or reason one. And, and, you know, it, you had all the different, the, that, those different things. You, do you remember what I'm talking about? Yeah. I'm I, not sure where that post is, but yeah, I remember. I, I love that because it's true. There are times when, man, you just want to cry. You're just like, this is crazy. How can this be right? But here's the thing. Even in that worst time when I felt horrible, it was better than working for somebody else. It was better. Because I was doing it for myself. I was building my own dream. And I, you know, I went to that corporate retreat and I talked to somebody this last week and, and we were trying to talk about mindset. And, and, you know, he went and talked to his manager after I left and they said, I didn't tell you this yet, but he said, you know, I don't, I don't get it. I don't get how this, this guy can come in and tell us how, you know, it's all about the way we think. I don't understand how anybody can feel like the way they think changes their life. And, and Benji looked at him and said, well, that's why you're 40 working for me and, and I'm 24 in charge of what's going on. Mm -hmm. And that's, dude, that's rough. That's a rough pill for people to take. You know what I mean? And, and it's, mm -hmm. it's true. Like you're working somewhere for X number of dollars an hour because you think that that's all you're valuable. That's, that's where your value lies. And you've accepted that that's okay. And the, the difference between us and everybody on this call is that we're going, you know what? I'm done accepting that an hourly rate is okay for me. I'm done having a boss. I want a partner. I want somebody who's going to run next to me, not run over the top of me and sit on my shoulders, right? I want somebody who's going to work with me. And that's what we're trying to provide for people. But let me tell you, I'm not going to carry somebody else on my shoulders either. I, I mean, I just got out from under that, right? We're not working for other people so that we can turn around and, and put other people on our shoulders to, to carry. We want to run with them. You know what I mean? Like SEAL Team 6, man. We all want to be carrying that weight together. We're all going to carry the boat. But nobody's going on top of the boat unless you're injured. Man, then I'm telling you, if you trip and fall, Ivan and I will pick you up. Not a problem. But we're not starting off there, okay? We're not starting off with you guys in the boat. That's not happening. But if we need to, hey, we can throw you up in the boat for a little bit, carry you a little bit away, let you get your thing back on, and then jump back down. But realize we're going to ask a lot of you. We're going to ask you to go out and reach out and tell your friends about this. Why? Why, Ivan, do you know why it's great for them to get their friends involved? Why would it be good for them to get the people that they're close to involved in this process? Well, it's just it grows their support group. There's more people doing the same thing, going along the same path. So more opportunity, right? And absolutely, if, if my 10 friends are, are changing their mindset and wearing these wristbands with me, the chances of my success skyrocket. If my friends are getting into real estate with me and, and understanding and bird dogging with me, my chances of success skyrocket because I no longer feel like I'm doing it alone. I now feel like I'm doing it with other people. I know I have, I know I have support and I want to see them succeed with me because it works. So that, that's my thing. You know, I, I know we've been going for a long time today, um, but I appreciate everybody being on this call. I really do. If you guys have questions, um, I know we've got, we've, we've jumped up to about 25 people on here now. Um, if you guys have questions, let us know right now because we're going to be ending in the next three, four minutes. All right. But I want to make sure if you guys have any questions that I answer them, because again, a lot of times you guys come up with fantastic questions. And here's the other thing, Ivan. I know right now somebody's going, I have a question, but I think it's going to be stupid, so I shouldn't answer it or I shouldn't ask it. What do you think? Should they ask it? Of course. Absolutely, because I if you don't ask, well, yeah, because if you guys don't ask, we can't answer it. There's no way for us to help you if we don't know what the problem is. So please, guys, reach out to us and understand that we are here to help you guys. Um, do you guys follow the 70% rule when submitting properties? Well, Dan, that would be on a flip. And, and at that point, it would depend on the deal. What we're talking about here is slightly different. Ivan, how would you answer that? Uh, I would say that by and large, uh, it's, it's not a hard and fast rule. No. Uh, a, lot, a lot of times we, we get properties uh, a little bit less than that. Uh, sometimes at, at 50%, sometimes at 60%. Uh, so it, it's, it's not something that's hard and fast. 
Now, the other thing, the other side of that is we've gotten them at 80 and 90 percent, too, because you've got to realize that sometimes it's not about the ARV. It's about the loan. And if I can grab a loan at three percent that has a, a payment on it of thirteen hundred. But the if I were to buy it or sell it, say, at, at actual market value right now with the actual market interest rate and that interest rate makes that payment be eighteen hundred dollars. I think you could understand why it would be it would make sense to take that higher percentage and and assume that loan where it is. So so realize that there's other avenues we go. So sometimes it's not about the the price of the property. Sometimes it's about the paper that the property is written on. Does yeah, that make sense? To know where the where the question comes from. If, if you're talking about wholesaling a property, uh, then then you're gonna in most cases you're gonna need to do better than than seventy percent. Correct. Correct. But if we're talking about doing agreement for deed or if we're talking about doing contract for deed or something or a land trust or something like that, then that's different because, you know, there, there are situations where I would definitely pay over market value. I, I'd pay yeah, 20 we, grand more we don't, we don't just to about. capture that interest rate. You know what I mean? So I, I so that's all. I, I just want them to understand that they're and, and again, this is where it comes down to what we're talking about is about tools. It's about having op options. The more the more exit strategies you know, the more options you have. And that's why we're saying, look, if you don't know all the answers, come and bird dog with us, come and work with us. I get it, it's not all the money up front, but at least you're not paying money to learn. You're actually making money on the deals that you bring that, that close, you're making money while you learn. I think that's a better program than paying somebody to to learn something, but then not being able to follow through with any of it because you still don't have really any direction. This way, it's almost like getting a, a mentor because you're having somebody that has experience walk you through it and help you learn the experience. And our goal is to build that up so that what we want you to do is when we actually take you on as an intern, and I'm, I'm making this up right now, Ivan, but when we take you on as an intern, we're gonna have you sign an agreement after we start doing deals with you that you've got to give back to other people coming into this program and that maybe you have to do 10 deals with us as a, as a team lead and, and help other, you've got to tell 10 other people get 10 deals as we get, after we get you your 10 deals and you've got more legs to stand on. Again, for me, this is all about how do we make you give back too? Because if we all give back, we all win significantly. You know what I mean, Ivan? Absolutely. I think there's a way to do that, man. We we have them we have them lock, you know what I mean. Just have them lock on with us because if we help them get ten deals and we make them help help them get have ten other people get ten deals and then we're working and we're spreading the love and I think that's where it's all it's all at. So, all right, cool. Well, guys, if there isn't any other questions, um, I wanted to you you got it, Dan. He said that's what he was talking about on the wholesale deal, so we answered his question. Guys, thank you so much for listening, Ivan. Thank you for being on tonight. You know, in fact, I think maybe we should do this. Maybe this should be. Our webinar, maybe this this one we do we do uh, every other week together. Sure. I think I think that could be a good idea, man. So um, I guess I will talk to you in two weeks. I may see you before then, but if I don't see you before then, in two weeks I'll be on this call with you. All right, bro. All right, we'll man. See you, we'll see you next week. Yes, absolutely, guys. Thank you so much for being on our call tonight. We really do appreciate it. As always, you guys put the Y in both of our success. Uh, that's for sure. Find us on Twitter, find us on YouTube, find us on um, Facebook, um, but basically find us. With that said, guys, go out and make something happen. Have a great night. Good night, everybody.